You know, this is probably the first time I had you on here when I'm pissed at something. Yeah. Yeah. I usually do it by myself and people say I look angry. <laughs> um, that's just your face. But that's just my face. Because uh, I honestly, I don't think I've ever posted when I was pissed. I'm usually just un not emotional. Yeah. But what is it with people that whenever you ask for help, you have some people that will just out of nowhere, just kick you right in the nuts. Two people in the last week. Yeah. And two people that haven't seen us in decades. Yeah. And only knew us for a short period of time of our lives. And we were kids. Yeah. Not a part of our lives at all. And ironically, they're all liberals. And I hate that because I have liberal friends. Yeah. And they have good paying jobs or spouses with good paying jobs and family. They've never been in a situation like we're in at all, but they sit there and just attack. Okay. Let me clear this up. I have a buddy that shared my gifts and go, you know, cause we're in a pretty bad situation. Um, and in that share, an old fraternity brother of mine, a pledge brother that I have not seen since 2004, gets on there and starts trash talking me. I didn't even say anything. Um, he, he was, it was a, it started as a political thing. He said, why doesn't he get orange man to help him pay for things? Like that's possible. I don't know the president. Yeah. I mean, I've never met, you know, Donald Trump before, but Still, I had nothing to do with me. And then he um, goes further and says and starts bashing me about how well, I'm, in, I'm in pain. You don't see me living off of other people. I, I never said anything about pain. Yeah. You know, he has family. I know he has family. I know he has he, he he's able to work. I literally was not able to work. Yeah. I had no choice. I was paralyzed. Yeah. Not permanently paralyzed. That's what the surgery was fixing. Yeah. Because if you didn't have the surgery, you would have been permanently. Yeah. And that's what people don't get, but they're still so hateful. Yeah, I, mean, I, I don't understand hateful people, uh, especially when what they're being hateful about has nothing to do with them. It isn't harming them in any way, shape or form. The irony of it, like this guy. He was on food stamps for a while. I know he was when we were in college, mm -hmm. a college student on food stamps. He didn't have kids. He yeah. wasn't married. And here we are, even with you being without, you know, employment there for 10 months. And now with the situation we're in right now, we can't even get it. I never, I never even for the longest time, never even applied for, fine, for, for food stamps or anything, because I don't like living off the government that is forcing people to pay for things. Yeah. I have a gifts and go that way. People can volunteer to do it. If they want to do it, they can. If they don't want to do it, they just don't. I don't believe in forcing people to do anything. No. And that's why when, you know, a few months back, you know, I, when I tried to apply just because, you know, we were at a situation where I was like, well, it would help us out. Yeah. You know, it takes some stress off. And that's the only reason we were going to do it. And we even talked about once we got, you know, where, we were a little better. We were going to stop. We were yeah. gonna just we were going to use it only for like a couple months. Yeah, short short but period. But we of time. couldn't even get it because we made just according to them, you made like twenty dollars more than their cutoff. Yeah, and, and the the sad thing is, is it's because they only look at your income and your house payment. They don't look at your expenses. They don't, they don't look, look at, at your any debt, other expenses. Your no bills, debt, nothing. nothing that you have to pay off. Nothing. No medical, nothing. Just your income versus the pay, your house payment. We have a pretty low payment for our house. Yeah. We're lucky compared to a lot of people. It's still more than what we can afford, but it was pretty low. So they're like, oh, you should be able to pay for that. Yeah. But, but our they truck don't bills, I mean, what, I mean, just vehicles and the insurance was costing us over half my check. Yeah. 
I mean, but but I'm not sitting there trying to people get people to feel sorry for me. I don't. That's why I don't usually talk about it at all. Yeah. But I've openly stated that if I didn't have my daughter, even if it was just me and you, if I, we were facing homelessness, I would choose homelessness. Yeah. I don't ask for anything from anybody. Yeah. It was a friend of mine that told me I needed to start a, a GoFundMe or a Gifts and Go campaign because how can I allow people to be helpful people and to put money out there to help others and bless others if I don't let them know that I'm hurting. Yeah. And I didn't want to do it, but they said, you don't have family. That's what they told me. You don't have family. So it's not like you can just turn to your family and ask for help. Like most people do. I know a lot of people do. A lot of people have to turn to their family and ask for help. And there's no shame in that. I mean, when you were in the hospital, only a few people, there was only like two or three people that came to see you. Yeah. I and they have, weren't even, they weren't blood related. I didn't have a single blood relative call me, text me, nothing. In fact, the last time I talked to them was, the, uh, was, wasn't was even during my second to last back surgery. I've had two back surgeries since COVID. And the second, uh, uh, the, well, the, the one before was a back surgery. The other one was a spinal surgery. Yeah. They sound the same, but one had a lot more to do with my nerves. The other one was just taking hardware out and stuff like that and making it, hope, hoping that that would make things better. But it just made things worse. Yeah. You know, they did, they, they burnt out two, two uh, saws, literally destroyed two saws trying to cut through my bone because yeah. my body heals very well. The bones do. They always heal strong. But regardless, it's just, I don't get it because I have never talked shit to anybody on social media or anywhere. I just don't do that. I don't see the point in it. If I don't like who you're voting for and I decide to say something, which I usually don't. Yeah, you, you I, stay away from that. You're pretty good about that. I will attack a policy. I will not attack the president himself, I would. I didn't like Obama, but I never once said anything about him being a Muslim or you know Michelle being a dude or anything like that. That's wrong. I, yeah, I didn't do that crap. I was like, so what if he is Muslim? How, how's that affecting in, in me? Yeah. So what if Michelle is a dude? I don't care. It has nothing to do with my life. It is not going to pay my bills. Yeah. I, it, it's not going to to affect me in any way. I want to know about policy, but I definitely, definitely don't attack the person that is believing that way. Because if I grew up the way they did, if I experienced things the way they did, if I was taught things the way they are, then I would more than likely 100% believe the same things they believe. Yeah. So I can't hate somebody because they believe differently than me. Yeah. But to sit there and attack somebody that somebody that's supposed to be, you know, frat brothers, we we sit there and sign something that well, oh we're close to each other for life, where uh, nobody else comes before us, blah blah blah. That's all freaking bullshit. I say it's bullshit a lot. Them. Yeah, and I mean, the irony though is my closest friends are fraternity brothers, but we never went to school together. Only one of them did. We spend one semester together. He graduated. Um, the first semester that I started and we, that's how we met each other. But all of my close friends, my best friends, John, yeah. uh, Zach, they were, uh, they just started college when I left. Yeah. So I wasn't even, I, I they met me because I was an, I was a chapter advisor and they don't do have anything to do with the fraternity. Because it's just bullshit, but still, and this isn't about the fraternity. This is about people in getting, general, people in general, people in general, putting their nose into other people's business where it doesn't belong for no reason. And why, being hateful. Why be so divisive? So what? I don't like the president that you, that you, that you like. Wow. That's why I don't get into football and stuff because people are fighting. I mean, you, you go yeah. to a Steelers fan and say something anti-Steeler and they'll literally attack you. Yeah. You know, uh, people down here, it's, you know, OU, OSU, you know, it's just, I mean, I've got, I've pissed off friends because I would, I would antagonize them because I knew they were OU fans and I don't dislike OU. 
I just like to pick on whoever is right there. Yeah. <laughs> Texas, Arkansas, OU. I, I don't care. Whatever, whatever team you got, I'm going to get at your buttons. Because I firmly believe that if you are truly a friend of mine, that means I get to make fun of you. I don't make fun of people that I don't like. Yeah. I just don't because I don't want to offend you. I don't want to start any BS that shouldn't be there. But friends that know me know that I don't mean it. It's just a joke. They make fun of me all the time. I mean, when I got married, you know, half my friends said, I thought you were gay. <laughs> you know, it, it's just, I didn't say, I don't even put the gay vibe on. Blah, blah, blah. I don't care. It's a joke. But to come onto social media, I had, and every time I, I, every time I have to try to, if somebody posts something, somebody jumps on there and said that I have to block people. Because they'll get on there and start saying, oh, yeah, you're begging. You know, most people work for their stuff. I'm like, the only time I've ever been unemployed for longer than two weeks was during a surgery where I yeah. physically could not work. I was eligible for, because um, when I had my um, injury uh, um, in 2004, my spinal cord was severed. Um, um, and that's not talking about the recent surgery or anything. But when we went to court, they officially said that I was 100% disabled. Yeah. That I, I could get on disability, but I chose not to. Because just because you can does not mean you should do something. I can get on disability and make, what, $2,000 a month to take care of my family? Have no hope or dreams of being able to go further in life, yeah. not being able to help others because I couldn't help my own family. The whole reason we decided to do a ranch is because it's going to allow us to help other people. Yeah. We can enjoy exactly. what we're doing. We can live in nature. We can eat food that is not GMO, is not destroying people. We can give food away that's not destroying people. And we can minister to others. Now, I'm not talking about Bible thumping ministry. I'm talking about healing the hurt, healing the sick, the broken, the ones that are lost, that have no family, nowhere to turn. Why is that such a bad thing? Why would you attack that? Because they have issues with themselves. So it's easier to attack you than realize that they're the ones with the issue. And none of these guys would say something to my face. Eric might. He might just because he's an idiot. But they would regret it afterwards because I don't deal with bullies very well. I've calmed my temper. I haven't lost my temper in 20 years. But I spent the majority of my childhood fighting because I didn't know how to talk. And I chose in the early 2000s, I started studying Taoism and Buddhism. I tried to start learning how to be a lot more Zen, a lot more, you know, you know, not like hippie-ish and stuff. Uh, I made it practical, made it where it actually converted to redneck. You know, it, it just makes sense, you know, because um, a lot of rednecks, honestly, old men, they believe the same way Dallas believe. They just say it differently. Yeah. You know, a lot of people don't understand that. Jesus spoke a lot of the same things that shamans and Buddhists spoke. But because he didn't dress and look like them, people, you know, get offended if you say he said anything like they did. Yeah. I'm like, I don't care where the message came from. I care what the message is. But I'm just trying to love people. I don't even, I even, in fact, my comment back to this guy was that I pray that you never have to deal with what I did so you can understand it. Yeah. I would rather him not understand it than have to go through with what I've been yeah. through. And, you know, people, I mean, they just don't understand. And then we have people that compare our situation to them wanting to remodel their house or send their kid to college asking for funds for that. And I'm like, that, that, that you know, there's, there's no correlation between, you know, what we're trying to do and, to be able to help others and remodeling your house. Yeah. Your house is not going to help anybody. For one, the, the two differences, the, First difference is there's a want and a need difference. Yeah. This is not a want. It's a need. We're yeah. going to be homeless by May. Yeah. You know, that that's a need. 
we don't have money to pay our bills because I was not making enough money to pay all of our bills because we're 30,000 plus in debt and we spent all our money that was in savings to go towards going to the hospital. Yeah. And paying and medical bills and stuff. We we were completely pissed broke. That's one thing. But the other thing is how many people raise money for the homeless? How many yeah. people raise money to 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 help others? It's a common thing. Yeah. People do it all the time. They have people that are literally they, their job is to raise money for this nonprofit. We're trying to raise money to start a nonprofit to help others, but it's also going to help us. It's going to a get us out of the situation where we we're one we're not going to be on the government's tit. You know, we're not going to force people to help us. People that help us will want to, but two, it's gonna it's going to allow us, like I said before, and I know I'm just repeating myself, it's going to allow us to get out of this situation and not have to worry whether we can feed our family. Yeah. You know, and then it's going to give us more where we can feed other families. Yeah. And that's, I mean, we're going minimalistic to be, to get there. You know, with a little bit sacrifices, of sacrifices, making a lot of huge sacrifices of, of living. And what I found, I talked to a good friend of mine. I'm not going to throw her name out there, but she's a really good friend. And she's had, she's been in a lot of serious medical situations. And um, I asked her, I texted her, I said, um, uh, if I said her name, everybody would know who she is. Um, I, I said, have you ever had people kick you while you're trying to um, raise money? She said, yes, every time. Yeah. Why? Why do people do that? Why be so hateful? Why be so horrible? I mean, I'm sure I'm going to get hate because I have a hat that says MAGA black. My pastor gave me this hat. Yeah. He's a black gentleman. And we're joking because I am literally 10% Nigerian. Yeah. DNA test. DNA everything. and um, ancestry you know, where we looked down the ancestry tree and found it, you know, uh, it's a family down in, in Texas. Don't know where they originally came from. Cause yeah. it was right after the civil war well, that they we can assume up. they originally came from Nigeria because yeah. it obviously. Yeah. Nigeria, yeah. Well, I mean that a tribe in Nigeria, but we, we know that they were black, you know, but that's all we know uh, because it doesn't go any further because their family were slaves, you know, their parents were slaves and there is no record of anything regardless I'm going to get hate for it. Why? I have never looked at somebody's bumper sticker that said Biden and Harris and, and went over there and started giving them what I thought and told them how dumb they are and stuff. I might have thought it, but I didn't go do it because that's not nice. Yeah. You know, it's, you know, we get, we're going to observe things, but that doesn't mean we have to judge somebody. You can observe something, have an opinion to yourself. And then go on about your day. Go on about your day. Just be nice. I've, I've talked to actually that are conservatives that if that I've had this conversation about not being hateful or, sh or shooting out hateful words. And that, because that's not who we are. They're like, well, that's just the way it is nowadays. And they will be hateful to people. Yeah. I didn't know that happened because it's never around. Uh, I guess the people that I'm close to are like me. They don't find any reason to do that. They don't see the point in it. Yeah. Because there is no point in yeah. doing that. The only thing you're doing is spreading hate. And when you spread hate, all you're going to get back is hate. Hate and division. And, you know, um, and like uh, General Flynn said, um, uh, everybody believes in God in a foxhole. Yeah. You know, it, you never know when you're going to need that person next to you. So why hate them now? I mean, you may hate transvestites. Sorry, they don't call themselves transvestites anymore. What are they called? Uh, transgenders. Transgenders. You may hate transgenders. You may judge them. But if we had a, a group of soldiers, that I can't even say the names on it because I'm going to get banned if I say what country they're from, that more than likely they're going to come from. But if they were out there shooting at us, you would not shoot at the transgender that's right next to you shooting at them. You would be side by side fighting the same enemy. Yeah. Why? We're, we're all Americans. And then if you go further, we're all living beings. 
Well, I hate them. Don't like them. That's fine. I'm not saying that. Yeah. If, if that's what you feel that you need to be. Yeah. But there's no, I mean, I don't even see the point in disliking someone that. That you don't even know. Yeah. That you don't even know. Just because of one issue that you have with them. That's the, like the way people vote. They vote on one issue. I don't like this thing about this person. My veterinarian, my original veterinarian when I had Mojo was a complete asshole. I mean, he was just a jack wagon. He would tell me what to and error. I mean, he didn't care. If he thought you were mistreating your dog, he would jump on your ass. But I still had him as my dog's vet. As long as I was in that area, he was the guy I'm going to. Why? Because he took care of my dog. That, yeah. That's what I paid him for. I didn't care about his personality. I didn't care about his sex life. I didn't care what he did with his penis. I cared about how he took care of my dog, you yeah. know, and, but these people, they, why am I so important to them that they have to get all heated up and become evil? They don't know me. Even if they did know me still, I never go. I, I have a friend that's a complete liberal, a very, very leftist liberal um, and an atheist. We disagree about so much, but we can have civil conversations and we do, and we'll agree about things. Why? Because we're both human beings. Yeah. You don't let your political differences. I don't let people control me at all. Yeah. And that's what you're doing. When you're being hateful, you're allowing somebody to control you. Yeah. You know, it's like, look at his grass. His grass is ugly. So I don't like him. Oh, well, stay in peace, stay in love. Don't piss me off. <laughs> hey, guys, I want to personally thank everyone for liking and sharing my videos. Uh, if you want to continue to see my content, all you got to do is press that subscribe button and I'll notify you as soon as a new video comes out. I don't get paid for any of this. So if you want to buy some of my merch, like my shirts, like Jesus is a badass or my don't be a dick shirt. Uh, you can easily go to my merch store, which is at SOGTV.org, which I will have it in the description at the, every video. So push that. Go buy yourself a shirt. I appreciate it. Have a blessed day, and I will see you at the next episode. Thank you.